Now the final word is the word lambano. Remember we are looking at san anti lambano. And what a long word for a little English word, help. The word lambano is actually is a violent word. It means I take, I receive. It actually implies grabbing a hold of something, seizing something, grabbing something to yourself violently. When put together, these three words form the little word help. So it implies that the Holy Spirit comes as a partner who is aggrieved by what the enemy is doing in our lives and he is against what the enemy is doing. So he comes to take up, seize, take and obliterate what the enemy is seeking to do. Now, Paul furthermore, after talking about our infirmities, he says, we know not what to pray for as we ought. Paul reveals in this phrase that we don't know what to pray for as we should. This means that every prayer demands specific type of prayer. That means if a prayer demands a request and I bring thanksgiving, I have missed it. If a prayer demands thanksgiving and I come with maybe rebuking the devil, I have missed it. So Paul wants to illuminate and bring to our understanding that we don't always in our own capacity. We may know what we need. We may know that we need to pray for a particular thing. We may know that we need to pray for a particular area, but that knowledge alone is not enough. It must be coupled with a knowledge of what to pray for as we ought. In other words, there must be that articulation in the proper way that we should do it. Uh, so the word what is the little Greek word T-I, which I pronounce T. It means the minutest detail. In other words, what Paul wants us to understand is that we don't even know how to pray accurately. He wants about the minutest detail of the little things in our lives. Someone may say, well, I know that God's will is healing for me and I'm just going to stand on the word of God and I'm just going to declare that by his stripes I'm healed. Well, that's okay. But I want you to understand that when Paul says that, whilst we may know that God's will is healing, while the will is known, we still need to know what to pray for as we ought. I remember one time I was teaching in Bible school and one of my students says, well, doc, I don't get it because if I'm going to do a crusade in, 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 in Mazoe, sorry, he actually said a crusade in Bindura. If I'm going to do a crusade in Bindura and I pray and I say, God, uh, lead us when we go to Bindura, we want to be effective. We want to accomplish great things. We want to see the power of God demonstrated. We want people to come to the Lord and, 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 and so forth. Can you say, I don't know what to pray for as you ought, as I ought? And I said, yes, I can. And I said, and I gave him an example of something that happened to me when I was going to Bindura to the mountain. And I actually prayed as I was on my way to Bindura. And I prayed and I committed my journey before the Lord. And I said, Lord, when I'm in the mountain, keep me safe, sustain me. I prayed for journey mercies and everything. And I said to him, but what you don't know is that on your way to Mazoe, at the 32, to Bindura, at the 32 kilometer peg around Mazoe, Zoe, the wheel bearing is going to break and the wheel is going to come undone. The wheel is actually going to overtake the car and fire is going to break out where the axle hits 
the tarmac car and it's almost flames are going to engulf the car that happened to me you all live and direct as I was going to the mountain to pray but because I had taken time to allow the Holy Spirit to help me in my prayer that prayer sustained me so I said so even though you know what you want you know what you want to see you know what you want to accomplish you know what you are expecting and trusting God to do you still don't know what to pray for as you ought and that's why we must lean heavily on the ministry of the Holy Spirit Spirit. There are a lot of things that end up happening because we haven't allowed the Holy Spirit to help us as we prayed so that we articulate those things specifically and directly in our prayer.